Hey guys, it's me, Troy Dellinger, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, the reign of the kings of, er of Israel, the time period of the kings. Uh, these scriptures are mainly found in 1st and 2nd Kings and also 1st and 2nd Chronicles. 1st uh, and 2nd Kings primarily covers uh, Israel and Judah. Uh, for the 1st and 2nd Corinthians, it's mainly uh, focusing on, on Judah. So, um, just to give a brief review of what happened last time, Solomon, King Solomon, went into idolatry. And he uh, backslid against the Lord. So, you know, the Lord sent a prophet against uh, King Solomon. And and basically, he warned, he warned Solomon that because of the consequence of his sin, that, um, that the nation of Israel would be divided into two kingdoms, the uh, southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. And... Uh, and so that would be the kingdom of Israel and the kingdom of Judah. And the kingdom of Judah would be um, Solomon's descendants. Uh, the king of Judah started out with, uh, I believe, Rehoboam, and that was Solomon's son. And then the king, uh, the king of Israel would be uh, Jeroboam. So... Um, just to give uh, a brief background of, of of these kingdoms of of the of during this time period, uh, both kingdoms uh, had some flaws. Uh, Israel was worse than uh, Judah. Uh, pretty much almost every king in Israel was wicked. Uh, Judah was kind of divided up. There were some good kings and evil kings in the kingdom of Judah. Uh, we also see prophets during this time period, Elijah, Elijah and Elisha, and these were two uh, great men of God that the Lord used to um, warn the kingdoms to, you know, turn to God. And uh, and there was a very, very wicked king named King Ahab that was uh, one of the worst kings in, uh, during this time period, and Elijah was sent to uh, warn this king uh, to turn from his wicked ways because he was serving uh, Baal. And uh, and Elijah demonstrated the Lord's power, and he uh, and he killed the prov the priests of, of Baal. So this, of course, uh, infuriated uh, Ahab and his wife Jezebel, and they tried to uh, go after Elijah, and Elijah uh, hid from them. And then um, Elijah was taken up in a chariot to heaven, and then Elisha. Uh, would take his place. So, uh, Israel, the kingdom of Israel, was the first kingdom that was judged uh, just because of how wicked they were, because there was uh, just evil king after evil king, and they were going into idolatry and witchcraft and paganism into the point where the Lord finally had enough of it, and he brought judgment on them through Assyria. And Assyria brought uh, the cab. Uh, captivity of Israel and uh, Assyria took over Samaria and so uh, this would bring a pagan mix of uh, Jewish and pagan paganism which was a, a very big taboo for uh, you know Judaism to be uh, for these uh, these two customs to be intermingled and it was in a, considered a, you know abominable in those days and uh, you know the, there was a lot of um, this these uh, sub, uh these Assyrians brought in a lot of uh, you know blended in Judaism and paganism together, and it really it, it brought a mixture of cultures in, which was uh, of course forbidden according to Jewish law. Um, so uh, the kingdom of Judah had uh several righteous kings some of them had some issues some of the righteous kings actually did uh, did backslide and uh they had a couple of sins as well uh but one notable and very righteous king was uh king hezekiah uh but he king hezekiah he did commit a sin 
But I do believe that there's a lot of indication that I believe he repented of it uh, afterwards. Could be mistaken, but I pretty, but I think so if I'm not mistaken. And um, but his sons after him, some uh, his son Manasseh became very wicked. So uh, a Judah would eventually also have evil kings, and they went into idolatry, and uh, and and just you know turned away from the Lord, and basically did all the same things that Israel did. So uh, you know, the Lord sent uh, a prophet named Jeremiah. Uh, to warn them of a coming judgment if they didn't repent, and uh, but Judah didn't listen, so they suffered the same fate as Israel, and um, they were brought into captivity, to captivity by Babel. And this was called the Babylonian captivity, and uh, and Jerusalem and the temple were both destroyed, and Israel was. Uh, taken for captivity, or um, the kingdom of Judah. So I'm going to look at the chart of um, of some of these kings, and uh, I'm going to look at their reign. Keep in mind that this is not perfect. This is actually a chart that I went on by the internet, and I would actually double check with scripture just to make sure this is accurate. Uh, for everything that I can tell, this is accurate. But uh, it could be mistaken, and I'm just going by the source. If the source is faulty, I apologize. Uh, so, I'm going to uh, look at the kings of Israel first. And we start out with Jeroboam. And Jeroboam was uh, evil. He turned into idol worship, which caused the rest of Israel to turn to idol worship. So, he was an evil king. And then you had Nab. Ned, Nedeb, and he was evil, and sorry if I mispronounced some of these things, and Basha was evil, Elah was evil, Zimri was evil, Omri was evil, uh, King Ahab was evil, evil. Ahaziah was evil, uh, Jehoram was evil, and Jehu, uh, I got here that he was a bit of a mixture, Jehoaz was evil, Joash, evil, uh, Jeroboam the second evil, uh, Zechariah evil, uh, Shalom evil, Menahilim, uh, sorry I can't pronounce that right, uh, evil, um, Pekahia evil, Pekah evil, and Hoshia evil. So these were evil kings, but pretty much almost every one of them here in the nation of Israel was evil. The only two righteous kings that uh, Israel had were uh, basically David and uh, Solomon and uh, we know that Solomon had his issues towards the end which is why uh, these two kingdoms were formed to begin with um, so I'm going to look at the kings of Judah so uh, Rehoboam he did evil Abijam he was uh, evil Asa, he did righteousness. He had to go. I got here right. Jehoshaphat, righteous. Um, Jehoram, evil. Ahaziah, evil. Athelia, evil. Joash, right, then evil. Amaziah, right, then evil. So I guess these two kings here backslid. U Uzziah. I got here that he was right. I actually thought there was a scripture that talked about Uzziah actually turning bad afterwards. I could be mistaken about that. I would have to double check. I would encourage you to check that out in scripture and uh, look closely at the reign of Uzziah. And uh, I got after him Jotham righteous, Ahaz evil, Hezekiah righteous, Manasseh evil, Amon evil, Josiah righteous, Jehoaz evil, Jehoiakim evil, Jehoiachin, evil, Zedekiah, evil, and Zedekiah was the last king of Judah that I have listed here on this chart. So, that's what I got for tonight, and thank you for watching.